I decided to experiment with the hic with this jicama. This is the jicama that I froze, and it it became pretty waterlogged when I used the other half of it to try to make fries. So this method is not the best way to make fries. So I thought I might try something new with it. So I'm gonna let you guys check out what I what I make with it and. If it works out, I'm going to show you guys how I can put it together for a quick treat. So what I have here are the ingredients that I'm going to use to <clears throat> liven up this jicama. And in addition, I will also be adding butter. And this is just the sweet, my new sweetener of choice. I tried it and... I didn't notice an aftertaste, which is really exciting for me. And this is the golden, so it's similar to brown sugar. And if you can see on there, it's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement. So that's exciting. The only thing I'm missing here is butter. And this is just some seasoning, a little ground nutmeg, just to give it a warm, spicy flavor. Cinnamon. And then I don't have lemon, so I'm just going to use a pinch of the citric acid because... It will help with the um, jicama and it will give it a nice flavor because I don't have any lemon juice. So, there's that. And I'll let you guys see how it turns out. Before I forget, I will also be adding some xanthan gum just to give it a more, um, some viscosity. Because these are going to be, um, I'm not sure what kind of juices the jicama will give off, but I want to give it a little, um, like a, a more syrupy texture, so I'm going to use a little bit of xanthan gum. So this is how it's looking so far. Picking it up. And I'll probably use a little cream just to... So I might be able to use water, so we'll see. So check me out. Look at that, you guys. No carb apple filling. I just cannot wait. So what I have here is a Joseph La Joseph Lavash that I cut into four, and I'm going to spray these with oil, roll them up, and put them in the air fryer, and I'll let you guys see what they look like. <laughs> 